Let's write a C program to count the number of occurrences of a digit, we call it as k, in number n using recursion. If user enters n value as 1, 3, 5, 5 and 4 and k value as 5, in that case we, our program needs to check this number for occurrences of 5. We have 5 2 times in this, that is 10's place and 100's place. So 2 should be the output of our program. So let's write the C program. I'll take two integer variables n and k. I'll ask the user to enter the value for n, a positive integer number, and store it inside the address of integer variable n. Now I'll ask the user to enter the enter the value for digit. Which digits occurrence you want to check for? Occurrence check for slash n okay i'll store that number inside the address of uh, integer variable k so we need to check the number of occurrences of this k in this n okay so let me write printf here the result i'll write percentage d representing k here percentage d has appeared the result percentage d times in the user entered number that is percentage I'll write percentage D the number itself directly so K the second percentage D is the result I'll call the function name as occurrence and pass the two values entered by the user that is n and k I'll pass number first n and k k is the digit and the last percentage D is the number entered by the user let me define this function so it needs to the second percentage d so it needs to return an integer type value so its return type should be int so we are passing two integer numbers to two integer values to occurrence function so let me take two integer variables as well these are the copies local variables of occurrence okay so if num is equal to 0 return 0 this is the base condition terminate to terminate the uh, recursion process okay so if the digit is equal to num modulo division 10. So as we already know, num modulo division 10 fetches the last digit, that is the digit from right, okay, of the variable num. So in that case, return, we need to increment the count, that is we found one more occurrence of this digit. So one plus, so call recursively call the same function, now reduce the value of num by dividing it by 10. This way it reduces the num value by one digit from right. Okay. So k value will remain the same throughout the execution of this program. So else, in case k does k and uh, the number, the last digit fetched from the number doesn't match. In that case, simply reduce the number by one digit by writing this recursive function call and don't don't increment the value that is plus one should be eliminated here because we have not found the occurrence of k in this case we are just eliminating one digit from the number okay that's it i guess uh, this is base condition if num is zero just return zero so let us check this first before moving any further i'll give one zero two five five and let's check for the occurrence of num digit five so we have five two times here unit and tens place so answer should be 2 that is 5 has appeared 2 times in 10255 looks like it's working but let's check for some other numbers i'll give 15930167 or something like that let's check for the occurrence of 0 it's a uh, it has appeared 2 times uh, let me give some other numbers I'll give 15555 five, five, 5 times 061. So let's check for the occurrence of 5. 5 has appeared 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 times. So 5 has appeared 5 times in this number. So looks like our logic is working. So let me explain this function. Let me copy and paste it. We don't have enough room here, so let me reduce the font size. Please make sure you are watching this video in full screen so that you can see everything here 
looks fine for me so please watch this video in full screen assume that user has entered this number 1 2 2 and 3 k value is 2 we know that 2 has occurred two times here so but still let's execute this logic so from within main this function will be called and the num value is 1 2 2 3 entered by the user and case value is 2 entered by the user so let's check this logic the number 1 2 2 3 is not equal to 0 so let's check this k is equal to num modulo division 10 so 1 2 2 3 modulo division 3 and uh, modulo division 10 fetches 3 the last digit from right 3 is not equal to 2 okay so this line of code gets executed so let me copy the code remember num modulo division 10 fetches the last digit in the number in this case 1 2 3 1 2 2 3 3 will be fetched now let me replace the values so 1 2 2 3 division 10 gives 1 2 2 okay so the new values of num will be 1 2 2 and k will be obviously 2 so this is recursive call now so let's check 1 2 2 is not equal to 0 so k is 2 num modulo division 10 would fetch the last digit in this number which is 2 so 2 equals to 2 that's true so x ex it executes the code inside else if block this line of code so let me copy paste this this let me replace the values of num and k so 1 2 2 division 10 gives 12 so the new values of num and k is 12 and 2 remains constant throughout this program execution so this is recursive call with new number value as 2 12 so 12 is not equal to 0 so k is equal to 12 modulo division 10 so the last digit is 2 again so 2 is equal to 2 which is true so this line of code gets executed let me replace the value of num and k so 12 division 10 gives 1 removes the last digit from that number okay so the new values the new value of num is 1 k remains 2 so again recursive call 1 is not equal to num value is 1 1 is not equal to 0 so k is 2 so num value is 1 1 modulo division 10 is 1 so 1 is not equal to 2 so this line of code gets executed so 1 num is 1 k is 2 1 division 10 is 0 so the new value of num is 0 now so let's execute the logic once again now the number is 0 so this line of code matches and it returns 0 the base condition is executed now so 0 will be returned to the calling function which is here so replace this it gets popped out of the stack so this is returned to the calling function so 1 plus 0 is 1 this will be returned to the calling function here so 1 plus 1 is 2 which would be returned to this calling function which is present here these are recursive calls being stacked in the stack memory stack so it gets popped out and the re result will be stored there so this will be returned to the main function and then it gets printed there so what is there in the main method so we have written percentage d that is k2 has appeared percentage d that is the result 2 times in number 1 2 2 and 3 this will be printed onto your console window and everything else like function instance and associated memory will be popped out of the stack so let's check the result so i'll enter the same number let me show it to you as well so 1 2 2 3 and 2 2 has appeared two times in 1 2 2 3 hope this logic is clear to you let me show you so this is the logic so let me write the function prototype and finish off this program i hope you understood the concept and the logic behind the working of this function recursive function so let me paste this at the end after main 
So once again, let me save this and compile and run this program. I'll give one more number, one, one, two, five, three, something like that. Let's check for one. One has appeared two times in this number. Okay. So that's it. Please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic. Stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog and please share this video with your friends using WhatsApp, Telegram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.